Yo, what is up guys? It's Roach. I am here bringing you another video. This time I am going to do it on Blacklight Retribution. I am getting tired of Call of Duty. I am getting frustrated with Call of Duty. I am fixing to break that disc. Not the fact that I am doing bad, but the fact that everybody is lagging. It's just, to me, that game is probably one of the worst Call of Duties. But we'll get back to that on a later video. I don't want to talk about Call of Duty. Let's just get right into the gameplay. And I got some news to update some of you guys on, some you know some other stuff I'll link down in the description. But let's get into the gameplay and I'll talk about it as soon as I get into it. Alright guys, what's up? I am doing my gameplay on Blacklight Retribution. I am going to update you on a few things here and there. And first things first, sorry about my other video from, I think it was last night. I can't remember, I stayed up really late. Uh, I think that one started having like audio issues, sync issues within the last few minutes of the game i don't know why uh it was perfectly fine before i uploaded it well, actually you know i do know why it was perfectly fine before i uploaded it i watched it through and through i made sure i watched like three or four times there's only like a six minute 46 it was perfectly fine made sure everything that you know that uh we talked about uh that i didn't want in the video was cut out uh just did a cut clip video <clears throat> And uploaded it and I watched it back just to make sure everything was good and apparently it wasn't the problem I had was uh, audio sync issues sync issues with my video my video was going good then the quality dropped the audio started dropping cutting out I don't know why I couldn't figure it out last night I was getting very very frustrated I was getting pissed to the point to where I was just like you know what I'm not gonna deal with this right now I'm not going to upload this video, I was going to take it down, and then I decided, you know what, I'll leave the video up, I'll work on it, you know, just to have a video up for you guys, some of you guys like watching these videos, I hope all you guys actually like watching these videos, and I worked on it last night till about, I want to say 3 or 4 in the morning, trying to figure like everything out, after about, so about 4 in the morning, or after about 4, I got tired, I was like, whatever man, I'm, I'm just not gonna do this, I got really frustrated. I ended up turning off all my, my monitors, my you know PS4, my computer, everything. I just went outside, sat down for a little bit, kinda cut my cool back again, and just, I was gonna get back into it, I was gonna try it again, and I said no, no, I don't wanna get frustrated again, I don't wanna get pissed off, I just went, in, went ahead and went to sleep. Well, I woke up, eight o'clock this morning only had a few hours of sleep uh kind of woke up in a bad mood uh then i ended up having a family day we went out to the aquarium found out something cool or not cool but weird i don't know why i said cool but i found out something weird my daughter is afraid of fish yes i said it fish not i like food i mean like they're food but they were at the aquarium she was scared of fish baby fish who the is afraid of baby fish. I don't know. I love my daughter. It was funny. She was freaking out. She was screaming the whole time. I was showing her, like, you know, I was carrying her around, showing her the aquarium, and she was getting, like, scared. She's yelling, no, dad, please help. Just, it was, it was, like, funny. It was, like, I felt bad for her. She was scared. And I told my chick, too, before we ended up going, I told her she is probably going to be scared. And sure enough, she was scared. But that put me in a very good mood. The fact that, you know, and then she, she enjoyed parts of it. You know, there's some parts where she was like scared when they were like the fish were up close to her. And then there's parts she was like watching them, waving at the fish, telling them bye. And, you know, it, it was a it was a fun experience. And I, I think that was the first time she ever been there. <clears throat> and I guess for the most part, she enjoyed it. Then I decided to take her out to eat. I took her to Chuck E. Cheese. Yes, Chuck E. Cheese with a big ass rat. I hate that fucking rat. Not because I'm afraid of rats, I just don't like that fucking rat. <laughs> I, I, I think he's obnoxious. Dancing around, big ass head, uh, whatever. But, I got put into a good mood, got back home. And I decided, you know what, I am a good, in a very good mood. I haven't got no rest. I am not gonna take a nap. Because I had, I guess, a, a mindset. My mindset was, sit your ass down for a little bit. Rest up for a couple minutes and then get your ass back into it and figure out what the hell has been going on with everything. And I think I figured it out. 
some of you guys I know some of you guys that watch my channel like recording some of you guys record and uh, a lot of people run the Elgato sorry about the gameplay I'm just kind of more concentrating on you know just updating you guys on everything uh, a lot of people like using an Elgato I use me personally I use an Elgato HD 60 capture card and it's amazing quality is good as you can see on these videos if you're watching high def everything is just good the only problem I was having is sync issues and I think I got those all settled out I am hoping I researched today I double checked triple checked quadruple checked made sure all my videos were in sync and they were which I am very excited about so hopefully since I got that settled I can start getting into my OBS software get all my uh, stuff set up for my stream again so I start streaming I will lick that lick <laughs> I will link my Twitch and my Twitter and I'll tell you the next thing but I'll link that in the description down below and y'all guys can check me out on there probably I want to say sometime mid this week maybe the weekend I'll start streaming I will throw that up on my Twitter when I start streaming so you guys can come check it out I will probably get a new game probably get my brother a new game we'll do some funny videos on maybe GTA again we used to do some videos on our, back when I first started streaming <clears throat> You guys have to check them out. I think y'all love them. They're funny as hell. We do stupid shit all day. But anyway, that's besides the point. My first issue, and this goes out to anybody, I mean, people that don't stream or don't know anything about, you know, streaming software or whatever, this doesn't, I guess, you know, this doesn't matter to you, but you can go ahead and listen to it. Just in case, I guess, you, if you ever decide to do it, which it is a lot of work. But it is also fun at the same time. My first issue, for anybody that ever gets an HD60, is have a strong enough PC I got a strong enough PC so that I don't that is not my problem and I figured out my problem and my problem was which is funny it's kind of stupid I didn't think I didn't know why it was checked I didn't check this I guess it's by default it's checked but my files all my video files were automatically getting sent to a folder in mp4 form and I found that out because I was going through some files, I was cleaning some stuff out, and I saw that I had all these random ass clips that I never put into a folder. There were nothing, they were just random ass clips. Uh, maybe I just want to test something out real quick before I start uh, recording a video, test it out, make sure it's good. Excuse me, sorry. Ate a lot of pizza today. But it was just, uh, you know, just stupid shit that was on there. Like a whole bunch of shit, like. Like gigs worth of random ass videos from, uh, let's see, Two minutes till it's done. just testing something out, checking out the audio, checking out the, the quality of the video. Uh, oh, a guy lagged on me. I want to see that again. Psh, click record, you know, and it saves on to Elgato. I, I know that for a fact. <clears throat> no matter what, if you go back and you record it or whatever, flashback, it's going to save onto the Elgato software. I understand that. But. It was not only was it getting saved onto there, it was getting saved into a folder, and I was wondering why I was always having sync issues, and that is number one. That is my first sync issue. Everything was getting converted into an MP4 file. Second thing, it was this is weird. I wasn't thinking. Uh, let's see. My monitor. My monitor was old as shit. But I just got two more yesterday. Two more brand new ones. Uh, I'm using one monitor for my, uh, my PS4, another monitor for my PC. <clears throat> I was going to get a third one, but I'm going to wait till I get a bigger desk, and then I'll go ahead and get my third monitor. But that was another issue, is my old-ass monitor, believe it or not. And the reason, you know, a lot of people would be like, what does that have to do with anything? Well, it goes, the problem started from resolution. I'm not going to get too much in the resolution because a lot of people, not people, but a lot of you guys will not understand what I'm talking about and I am lagging for some reason. But anyway, a lot of you guys won't understand resolutions, but let's just put it this way. My screen, right? My software opens up. Well, my screen is only, say, this big. My software opens up and it's supposed to be this big. Well, what it did was it let me say pretty much it would fit my it will fill up my screen the software will fill up my screen but 
everything wasn't down there, you know, like everything was squashed. It was squashed to where, say this is my screen, my software opens up on the screen, you know, pops up, and it got cut off. But it still filled up the screen. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's kind of hard to explain it. Like, uh, <clears throat> uh, what's, I, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. It filled up the screen. You know, my software was on there. I could see. But the stuff that was at the bottom, in order, I guess, to fill it up on the old-ass resolution from my old-ass screen I had, it would fill up the screen, but it wouldn't show everything because everything was kind of squashed. So another problem was I couldn't stop the preview of my videos, you know. And the preview is for you could see, you know, so you could see like, I guess the quality, and then you can also mute it. So I'd have to turn down my speaker, and I couldn't see nothing. I thought it was a software update on Elgato because as soon as I got my new monitor, or my, uh, right before I got my new monitor, uh, Elgato had an update that I had did, and I liked the old, the old. You know, software. I don't really. I'm not too fond of the new one. The colors and everything just look weird to me. The new buttons and stuff. But I like the old software. I was used to it. It would fit my resolution perfectly fine. And then for some odd reason, now, you know, it's just my old monitor is garbage. It's it's not gonna do anything for me anymore. So that was another problem. And another thing I found out, which I didn't think made a difference, is. What you have to do is you stop the preview, you or first you stop the sound preview, you stop the display preview, you hit record, and then you hit your live commentary. Who the hell would think to do that? Me, I guess. I don't know why that makes a difference. I, I mean, you would think you would have just live commentary running all the time, just in case, but that is not the case. You have to stop your preview, you have to stop your sound preview, you have to hit record, and then after you see the timer pop up, about three seconds in, you click commentary, and then everything will be in sync. Stupid. Me, to me personally, that is stupid. But just for you know, any of you guys that are looking into getting into recording gameplays or whatever you plan on recording, and that's up to you. I mean, I don't, I don't yeah. <laughs> But just in case you want to get into it, that is what you got to look into. Like, you know, it's a lot of work just getting all the settings right, but it, you know, it pays off in the end. It's it's fun. I like it. I like entertaining you guys. I like bringing commentaries, all that junk, whatever. And I hope you guys enjoy it too. But yeah, that was a problem I was having. And one last thing before I end end this video, I'm not gonna run through a whole another game with you guys. I don't want to waste your time. Not that I. Well, I hope I'm not wasting your time, but. I don't want to make this video too long, which it's already 13 minutes. I mean, I hope you sit through it. I hope you listen to everything I say. Hope I was entertaining. Hope it helps some of you guys out that are, you know, that need the help with it. Maybe you're having the same problems I'm having. I thought that was a teammate. I don't know why. But last thing I was going to say is I am on a new team. For some of you guys who are wondering, I'm on a new team. The new team is Team Uproar. I will leave their Twitter down in the description. I will leave my Twitter down in the description. I will leave my username for my Snapchat, just in case you want to hit me up on Snapchat for whatever reason. You know, check out some of the funny shit I post on there, whatever. And I mean, that's about it. There's nothing more I can say uh, till I guess next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. I mean, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't leave a dislike if you have any opinions go ahead and leave it down in the comment section down below this is roach i will see you in the next video peace